Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the dollar index as we uh, we haven't had a look at this for, for a while now um, but that dollar strength has continued back into these key monthly highs. Now if I go to the monthly time frame you can see coming towards the end of the month now how strong the US dollar has been this month. We actually predicted that price would be around about $95 by the end of this month because of this nice pattern in here where the market couldn't break higher and close above these highs. So it'll be interesting to see what unfolds in the next couple of days because um, again we're going to be watching for where that market is going to close and now the daily chart has impulsed into these highs. Could we be seeing a reversal? Now typically Monday's candle does get reversed in the week okay so what we're looking for will that price reverse now i'm just going to bring in a fib i'm going to go from the swing high down to the swing low of this current daily move just in there and you can see that we are at the 127 extension as well currently in this big resistance zone in here so what we are anticipating for the this this week is for the US dollar to start falling slightly only short term back into these previous structure highs or potentially into these breakout um, this breakout trend line just in here okay now our idea will be invalidated if price continues and pushes above these monthly highs and closes above. If that's the case, then I think the dollar will continue its move to the upside. You've got to remember there's a little bit of a battle going on here. Um, obviously, the recent uh, data out of the US has been pretty good, um, which has given the, uh, the dollar a bit of a boost just because the uh, Federal Reserve may not have to cut rates as aggressively um but you know um we are at this key resistance level as well so we've got to wait for the break or bounce situation here i'm anticipating a little bit of a bounce um on our strength and weakness uh chart it does say that the us dollar has gained significant strength especially against the likes of the euro the australian dollar canadian dollar and the japanese yen so um you know, it is a very, very strong currency at the moment. Just seeing if this sort of pattern can uh, hold here and see if we get some kind of either like a measured move into that area in there where we could see a potential reversal pattern. Okay, so looking at those lows at the minute, we may see the market rally into the 9340s. If it fails to close above there, that will be negative dollar. And again, look for that shorting opportunity through there a lot of the currencies are over um overextended and uh, we, we are expecting a little bit of a pullback uh, obviously just a quick note on the pound the pound has lost ground um over all the other currencies and this is just because of boris johnson um in there just basically uh trying to force the no deal sort of situation so we were looking for this big demand zone to hold um in here okay and it's okay to be wrong in trading there's nothing wrong with that um, we just need to be right more than we are wrong okay but we were looking for this big demand zone to hold down in here the monthly look good um, but it's, again the brexit uncertainty has pushed the pound a little bit lower just through there um, so you know even though the commercials are buying up at this point in time we were looking for this inverse head and shoulders play um, it didn't happen in the end so we need to just sit on our hands here with pound now wait for the dust to settle if price moves lower then price moves lower and we can look to potentially on the back of any other moves in there okay but focusing on the dollar index this week it's going to be pretty big um to see if it can take out those monthly highs or not um and we'll see what happens from there okay so thanks for joining me and i'll speak to you soon